Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to perform for you some extreme parallel compression. What is it? Just parallel compression, except we're gonna use some very cool gear like the Prism Sound ADA 8XR and the Shuttle Hills Mastering Compressor. That's coming up. <laughs> So how have you guys been? Great to see you here. Today I'm in the main room here at Dr. Mix where we do all the mixing, the mastering and the production for our clients. And uh, we use all this cool gear to you know, do our day-to-day -day tasks. But today I'm just gonna have fun with it. Let me show you what we got here. So here we got the Prism Sound Dream ADA 8XR. This is not only my favorite converter ever, but it's also one of the most famous used by the top mastering studios on the planet. And here we got the Shadow Hills mastering compressor, which does not need any introduction. It's a beast, it sounds amazing. You will see that just in a few seconds. To monitor, I'm going to use the PSI audio speakers, which have become my personal favorites. We only had them for a few months, but I cannot work without them ever again. So let me show you what I've got here, yeah? Bang! This is a recording that I've done earlier for one of my Sunlight Square tracks. Check it out. Got some disco funky vibe going here. So what I've done is I have connected the Shadow Hills mastering compressor on the way out from the D to A of the of the Prism Sound ADA 8XR and coming back from the A to D of the ADA 8XR. So we basically got from digital to analog, compressor, analog to digital, one round. And um, the way we make sure it doesn't have any latency is by clicking this guy, delay is 1.70, that's fine. And um, now what I can do with Cube is I can click on L and I can just listen to the compressed version of these drums. So I'm gonna pull that up and head over to the Shadow Hills. Play, let's make some music happen. Right, crank down tra threshold. All right. Okay, maybe the attack is a bit too fast. One, five is good, ten is better, let me crank down on this threshold, well, thirty is even better, let's see what happens with the release, all right, let's try and increase the ratio, all right, now we're talking. So, without, with. So you know what? This has got to be extreme, so let's put it in flood mode. Okay, now we're talking. Recover. Okay, now it's nice and rich of uh, attack, that's what we want. We head back to Cubase, and uh, now let's pull it down, listen to the original drum, and start sneaking it in. <laughs> Don't you just love it? All right, without. And with. Okay, let me pull it up a little bit more so it's a little bit more evident, yeah? But of course, when I do that, I get complaints. Hey, it's just louder. What I invite you to do is just to try to l listen past 
the level change, which is, you know, it doesn't have to be much. I mean, here I'm using also L2. I'm just, you know, making it a little bit louder for YouTube. And um, otherwise, you know, in a normal setting, I, w I would have, a, you know, a bit more overhead here. But let's try... I'm going to try and pretend I'm mixing, so I'm just going to use exactly the amount that I would normally use it. Oh, that's a lot. You see, you, you do get a little bit more level here, and that's cool, but more than anything, check out. What's really changing here is just how the energy that I have no better words to describe it. It's the energy that becomes more. And it's like there is like a core of steel that you inject into the sound. I don't, I'm going to play it again so that, you know, hopefully I make some sense here. You see what I mean? That's the beauty of parallel compression. Let me see if I can if I can do it on the kick drum only. Let me reset here. I want to start fresh. All right, just the kick. I have soloed it. Take it. I take it. Take, take it. Mm, mm, mm. See, I love Cubase because you you just you just hit the kick you know the kick bus and automatically it 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 solos the right stuff you know last time I've used Pro Tools it didn't do that so um, okay let me try and just listen to the parallel here okay all right see what we can do with this all right not bad. Well, what we obtain here is number one, the low end completely goes, right? But you know, it might be just what the doctor ordered. Maybe we need some, just some click there. See, now we can use the recover to time it correctly. Because when we keep it all the way fast, we, we get a little bit of resonance that maybe, you know, I could correct with a little bit of gate, but I don't want to do that. Let's see if I can eliminate that low end resonance. I would suggest headphones at this point because you know, on, uh, you know, on the PSI, I can really hear the low end, but maybe on your speakers, on your laptop, that's going to be a tough one. So this is pretty good, because I'm getting a lot of click. <laughs> Stupid amount of click. See, this, you know, 30, uh, 30 attack gives me a little bit of low end back. And in this case, I just want some clicking going. See? It's like somebody's flicking that. Okay. And let's see how it translates. Huh? You know, I can be a little bit funny and put put it even louder. It just becomes like like a punch, which is you know may not be what we want, but we can do it if we want.
And let's try it also on snare drum now. Let me see what happens here. Yes. Solo the snare drum. And uh, again, I just want to listen to just the compressor. Okay, L. Yeah, in this case, we do get a lot of clickiness there. Okay. <laughs> All right, extreme parallel compression, but that's too extreme. Okay, like this, it makes uh, the snare really, you know, punchy, but still round down in the 200. Ooh. All right. All right. I like that. Yeah, eight is fine. All right. Let's listen to how the sound changes now. All right. Well, of course, we can hear a lot more the ghost notes now, of course. I'm not sure it becomes a little bit, I don't know, maybe a bit too bulky. Let me try and um, make it a faster attack. Yeah, now that works. Yeah. Cool. Now, the last thing I want to try is on uh, the room. Let me see what we can get out of that. So, um, remove that, and let's go to the room. Let's listen to it. Right. Okay, parallel only. All right, now I can be really extreme. Let's be nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sounds sounds pretty rock and roll to me. Let's see. Let me crank it up even more. And let me open the attack. Yeah. Check how aggressive it becomes. If this was a rock track, that would work like a charm. And yes, so that was parallel compression, a technique that I love. It works like a charm every time. And you know what we've done? We've put together a list of our top 10 mixing techniques, the ones that we use every day to make our clients' music sound incredible. And you can download them for free by clicking on the link in the description, and you will also join our mailing list where I will send you more tips and interesting videos like this one. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and groove on.